If you would have told me that there was something out here to do that was harder than working inside those crawl spaces, <laughs> I'd have told you that you was full of you know what. But listen, I'm going to flip this camera around and show you my clothes right now. And I'm telling you right now, I've been doing it for years, building these ponds by hand. Hands down, hardest, toughest, most physical work ever been part of. No doubt. Um, I would challenge anyone. I've done roofing. We've waterproofed it. Fucking fly. We've waterproofed basements with hot tar. I've had my arms scalded, blisters all over them. Ain't nothing harder than building these ponds. Check this out. Working all day with pants this wet, it's a good way to get some kind of peepaw fungus. <laughs> Drew said he's had stuff worse than peepaw fungus, so golly man. Hope the fungus stays off mine. Just hold on long enough till I get off, give me some dry shorts of God Almighty. Ain't nobody wanting that peep off fungus. Let's step down in here and take a look at what we've done so far today. What has caused me to be this soaking wet? Oh, I like to tell you my wife can buy her and send it, but that ain't the case. That ain't the case, baby. It's these bad boys right here. And we've really got this creek coming along this morning. Check this out. It's going to be hard for you guys to tell much. I think this close until I'm back up and give you a shot from further out but man this water is going to be coming through here all kinds of crazy with uh show you check this out what we've done so been cutting some of this monkey grass up gonna have it come down so he can so chris will have a good spot right here to stand here and feed the fish you see all these imaginary fish look how pretty that one is over there so yeah go ahead and visualize that hey pretty fish Imagine that water crashing in off these rocks and then just stepping right on over here to the other side. Thought that'd be real cool. <clears throat> Try to squat down here and show you this. We've got all kinds of smaller rocks that we'll be hiding in that waterfall I'll return with. And then I'll walk down here real fast to show you a view kind of from the road that Drew and I were just talking about. It did. A hawk caught a snake. Where? But look at from right here, guys. If you can, I'll try to zoom in. Like that. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. We got to get back at it. See if we can't break a sweat. See if we can't knock this bad boy out. All right, guys. We're gonna go up here with Matt and Drew and pick up one of those rocks right there. And we're getting ready to place it right behind that flat stepping rock right there. Stay with me. I may need this strap. Ugh. Stay on here, bad boy.
Step a little some more. Pick it up. I'll be able to lift it over that rock. over here that's about, about to drive on a rock right there all this guys for one rock ready I'm just easing it in I'm just easing it in spit on it yeah you need to spit on it too Matt the more spit you get on it the easier it's going to go in dude coming down try to get the lips sitting right on them rocks Starting to fill that void in. Oh man, that looks nice. I like that. Hey, bring it out some. Yeah. We can turn it a little bit there, but yeah. That's gonna look nice. Look at that. Wow. It looks crazy, guys. This thing is gonna be so awesome. Stay tuned, everyone. M5. The one that Cole got? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Nice. Well, what's for lunch today, boys? Where we eat that? What? Tell them a bit what we got on the menu today, Matt. We got this. Uh, we got this PayPal spread right here. <laughs> put it all. You put that on there to get rid of that fungus. Put that on our buns. <laughs> we got a little Guess bit of from onion uh, cheese. We got a little bit of imitation cheese product, processed cheese product. Everybody just thought they just want to get to see how to do ponds today, but you're getting ready to show them what kind of sandwich are you making? Uh, I'm making a imitation honey turkey and peepaw spread mm -hmm. wheat sandwich. Mm -hmm. Sounds so good. Can't wait, baby. <laughs> Matt's over here now spraying off all these rocks, trying to get a lot of this dirt sediment off here. Anytime you're installing a brand new pond like what we're doing right now, let's see if I can give you a shot of some of the way these rocks look before he sprays them off. You, I mean, you can just kind of see, you know, how much dirt and stuff's on every single rock. It's hard to even see the colors. Whereas, after he sprayed them off here, 
you can really start to see some of the colors come out. Reds, tans, browns, purples. I mean, like I've already told you in this evening, I mean, you'll see blues. Look how red that rock is right there. Look at how well this creek has came along today. Hopefully we'll have the water pouring tomorrow. I've got to foam everything tomorrow. We've been trimming the edges, working on hiding the liner in a few places. We don't have it all hid yet. Most all the big rocks are set in place. Matter of fact, we don't hardly have any rocks left outside of the pond that, that we can't move by hand. Most everything that we have left can be easily moved by hand. Um, showed you guys a little bit about this this morning. Check this out. One, two, three. It's really cool. Walking down here, and once again, like I already mentioned, this would be a great rock to stand right here. Look, I mean, I'm right on the very edge. Sturdy as can be. See here, feed the fish. If you want to just step over, step right here to the other side. I just thought that was really cool. Maybe I can get right here. I'll perch up on this rock for a second and just sit here. Oh, kind of give you guys a little slow shot of how this is all going to look. Got a lot of foaming to do, guys. And a lot of water that still needs to be added. We got to do some more stacking up around. Of course, the waterfall return here. There'll be a rock tray that goes inside this edge. We'll dress that up nicely. We'll hide that skimmer in down there. And like Chris and I were just talking earlier uh, when we were kind of taking a break. You know, whenever we finish one of these ponds, I always tell everyone that's the worst it's going to look. Because the plants haven't had time to fill in anywhere. It's not going to have hardly any aquatic plants. Uh, we thought someone stole them. The other neighbor said he thinks they got washed through that drainage tile there. I'm not sure what happened. All I know is that we had hundreds and hundreds of lilies that Chris had had. And while I was going to Hawaii, those all disappeared. So we no longer have those lilies to work with. It would have been awesome to put those in here. And I'll step over here. If I can step over here without falling. Kind of show you guys from this angle one more time. We're getting ready to start backfilling all this liner that's exposed here with more of the Indian Creek River Rock. And then we will pick back up with things tomorrow. And as long as everything goes according, should have you guys a, a finished shot. Look how awesome that wall right there is. So stay tuned guys for more. Visit us online at pondartist.com. Feel free to hit me up on my cell, 423-503-0512.